bless, 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 bless. What's the Hi, this is Kevin with the Kevin with the Basketball Services. I'm here with a client of mine, Chris Key. Hey, it's good to see you today, it's good brother. To see you again, brother. Uh, you know, I just wanted to talk about some things today that I feel that are affecting player development mm -hmm. from a positive and a negative standpoint. And I'll just dive into it. It's player development mm -hmm. versus training. Mm -hmm. Player development is based around building a player up through a curriculum, which mm -hmm. that's what we do here. I can tell you with my son, with Ting, one of the things with player development is it comes from you teaching a structured curriculum. You know, these things you have to build on. They're gonna trap us in this situation now. So as we back down, we already see the defender jumping out. So now we just wanna push it through, get to the rim. It's a nice finish. In the player development stage, you wanna make sure you have guys continuously doing things week to week Correct. that impact them individually. Correct. So when they step on the floor, they're able to execute certain things. Yeah. Uh, that could be footwork, that could be certain mechanics in your shot, that can be uh, anticipating things. Uh, in, in terms of how people are guarding you. You guys realize I got a five pound ball in your hand. So imagine what you're gonna be able to do with a regular ball. See the five pound ball gives you the resistance along with the band that keeps everything realistic. Cause the thing is that, that weighted ball is so important because if you can push that weighted ball out, imagine what you're gonna be able to do with a regular ball when it's time to really go. Typically one foot is stronger than the other. And what we have to do is balance it. So we have to do enough activity to strengthen that, those areas to make sure that he has the perfect balance all from, from start to finish. I call it the 50-50 rule. Uh, most players that we come across typically 70-30, some are 60-40. We want to make sure we're 50-50. So when he leaves, he, he can have the balance and the power to execute things, to do things consistently, evenly on both sides of his body. Two dribbles, separate, nice pull up. He's becoming much more efficient instead of just high volume, you know, so it's, everything is with a purpose. They have to understand, they have to do it enough where they can't do it wrong. As you bring it up and bring it there. See, the key is when you do something enough where you're just getting it right, that's not good enough, right? Like Gino Ariema always said, let's do it long enough that we can't do it wrong. Left hand floaters. When you go here and go here, you gotta be able to dribble the stop, peekaboo. When we with our players in the NBA, we might do things probably 420 times before you actually see it happen in a game situation consistently. And that's how we look at player development. We're not looking for the quick result, we're looking for the end result later on. Mm -hmm. And it takes a lot of repetition, a lot of time, and you know, a lot of time spent watching film to on the floor development, having communication about it when we're outside of the activity, right. and just continue to build that strength up mentally so when that situation comes up, we're ready to react. Are you working on three things right now? You're actually working on footwork, you're anticipating when the pass is coming, and also you're working on your snap dribble. So when we snap the ball, we gotta be prepared. So as the ball comes, snap behind, my left foot is already up in position to make that pass. Basically what we're trying to do in our training sessions is that we wanna bring guys in, we wanna make sure that we take them through the same scenario they would go through in an NBA facility. Being a former NBA coach and development coach, what we try to do is get guys in position to do game-like activity on the warm-up, and then we take them to game activities on the finishing station. So we set up the gym to build up stations to improve all those things that happens in the game. 